that were just finished for this show, so we're extremely proud to be presenting them here. Um, but to start off chronologically, the two videos that you see on this piece is called Slurb. It was done in Florida, and I have to say it's my favorite piece. I can't help it. Everyone has a favorite. It's just amazing. She envisioned what would happen if the entire city was overtaken by water, you know, and what would happen? People animals, the whole ecosystem, buildings, cars, everything. What would happen? It's very, very fascinating. And she took real spots, you know. She did her research, as you'll hear in another part of this video. And there's a very definite Japanese influence in this that she'll explain also in the next clip I have for you. Something very soothing about her work, as you'll see in the Friends and Enemies piece I'll also be showing you soon. It's almost has a hypnotic effect, I would say, at least on me. Days change, so it literally takes you all the way through a year. Mm. To me, I've never seen anything like this before. Um, I think it's a really extraordinary work, um, and I'm so proud to be showing it for the first time. Because it really is showing us life basically in real time. In many ways, it's a moving painting. Um, it's definitely intentional that it's about the size of a painting um, that you would see in a museum, about the size of a full-length portrait. But it's a portrait not just of a person, it's not just a landscape, but it's a moving, living portrait of this particular landscape in England. So, Marina. With the piece. Um, let's see. Okay. Well, uh, my motivation for making a piece of this length, uh, it, it really, I know it sounds like Olympic and arrogant to say, you know, but there's a lot of weight on this idea of making something that long, but the reality is with this piece, the negotiation between what really is slow and boring and what needs the time to unfold for you to have an experience at a lot of different levels with a work like this, that you could spend 20 minutes in here and see one day turn to night, seemed like a good increment of time. And then of course, 12 months of that is 146 hours. So um, that's just the way it is. <laughs> uh, it's summer, I programmed it to start today in summer because there's a lot, it's a very lively, uh, there's a lot of migratory animals. There's, um, there's some surprises that I hope will happen at dawn. And then we'll still be in here when they happen. Um, so, so that's sort of the background. My, my other motivation for making this piece is that when I started making longer and longer narratives like Slurb, I really didn't, didn't see the reason to author every one of those decisions. That for me, it would have been much more interesting to let these hand-drawn worlds play out in a more game-like networked structure, but that actually suited the idea better of these ecosystems than to have to author every last move. So that was, in a way, my impulse. I started working on this in 2008 as an idea and did this fellowship in Northern England in 2009. It was a research fellowship. I met a lot of artists and scientists there and looked at a lot of the kinds of problems that you'll see in the prints in the next room, not the prints from this piece, but the invasive species print. 